the receipt they will give to you will have your serial number on it. It is that number that you will use at all times to get into your application portal. Do not, under any circumstance, drop this in the bin. Do not forget it. Do not misplace it. Do not try to get rid of that receipt. Hey guys welcome back again to the channel i hope you're doing very very well i am fine thank you as you can see i'm in a good spirit today so i must as well record this video before it's too late so yeah guess what we're making today one two and three so i printed these out because charlie i'm getting a lot of emails a lot of messages dms on instagram everywhere about the University of Ghana applications being out for, you know, students or prospective students to go ahead and apply for. So everyone is asking me questions. How do I apply for this? How do I know I qualify? How do I know I meet this and that? Don't worry. I'm here to sort it out. But the quick disclaimer, mind you, I don't work in the admissions office. I'm just speaking from personal experience and pair what is written on the University of Ghana website. So everything I'll be telling you today, I'll make reference to the University of Ghana website where you can go and read more for further clarification. So stay put. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe down here below. Like here, there's a red button down there that says, that says subscribe. Please go ahead and subscribe so that you'll be notified anytime I post a video by putting on your post notification button. There's a bell also after the subscription. There's a bell close to it. Turn that bell on so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And give this video a big thumbs up, of course, if you like it. Let's get into it. The very first thing I want to say is that this is coming from personal experience. As of 2013 was when I updated my application to come to Lego. In fact, it wasn't 2013, was it? Yeah, it was 2013. I was still in secondary school. So I did the awaiting form. So my results were not in, I had not written the WASI, but I had fit. So the first thing you would want to know is, first of all, before anything at all, go to the university website, the university of your choice. And in this case, I'm talking about the University of Ghana. So go to the university of your choice. And then, even before you go and search for anything at all, ask yourself, what do I want to study? Or what am I interested in studying? Until you know this, you go into the site, it's just like a non-starter. So know exactly what you want to study. Of course, sometimes too, you might just not be privy to exactly what you want to study, but just want to also go and explore, go through your programs and see what is best for you to also look out for or take with you. So whether you have a program of choice in mind or you want to go there and scout, go to the website of the school you're interested in. And I'm sure every school has a website to their name. Go there, if it's undergraduate or if it's a postgraduate program, go there, go to their programs, academic programs, and go through every one of them. For University of Ghana, they are put into colleges. So we have four strong colleges here at the University of Ghana. The College of Humanity is the biggest. So it has a lot of programs there for especially the arts students, those who are studying arts now. So um, I don't know if I have it here with me, but each program has a cutoff point that you should watch out for. You can't just go ahead and apply for a program that you know within yourself, within your hearts of hearts, that you do not qualify for. If by chance you go say like grade 30 in your WASI, <laughs> don't think you're going to apply for medicine. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that your fate will not work for you or nothing is possible, but <laughs> look within your hearts of hearts. Judge yourself first to find out if indeed I fall within this category before you go ahead and do the application. So now if you know the program you want to apply for, you've gotten to know the cutoff point. Now proceed to the bank and make payments. So for the University of Ghana, we have some banks listed here that you can go over there and make payments for your application to start for you. So the University of Ghana application e voucher can be obtained from so many banks here in Ghana. If you're a Ghanaian, you can visit EcoBank, GCB, the um, Republic Bank, Universal Merchant Bank, you can go to the Agriculture Development Bank, 
There are so many banks and all of these are listed on the University of Ghana website. So kindly visit it and then go ahead and make your payment. It's 200 Ghana cities for local students or Ghanaians living in Ghana and making these applications. So please go ahead, read more about it on the University of Ghana website for further clarification. And also, all prospective applicants are advised to visit the University of Ghana website, which I'll leave over here, www.ugn.edu.gh, and carefully read through all the relevant information and guidelines for prospective students applying this year into the University of Ghana. All applicants will be writing WASI in May, June 2020 are also eligible to apply. Applicants are expected to collect a free copy of the University of Ghana prospectus from the bank when they purchase the e-voucher. So when you get to the bank to make the payment, it's just 200 Ghana cities for Ghanaians living in Ghana. And for international students, you'll be asked to pay $110 only and it's non-refundable for Ghanaians also. And all this can be found on the University of Ghana website. So now you've bought your forms. Congratulations. Please and please and please again take notes after you've bought your e-voucher from the bank. Please, the receipt they will give to you will have your serial number on it. It is that number that you will use at all times to get into your application portal. Do not, under any circumstance, drop this in the bin. Do not forget it. Do not misplace it. Do not try to get rid of that receipt like most of us do when we go to the bank and they give us receipt we just drop it in the bin please and please again take good care of it it is that receipt that you will use to check your application portal to know how far so please take a snapshot of it save the serial number on your phone keep it safe because it happened to be in 2013 now you've come back home sit down comfortably don't be so excited about applying to the legon i know but take your time, go through the process a step at a time. It's not cumbersome, it's not difficult, it's very easy for you to navigate and make sure you get a soft copy of your passport picture or of any passport picture at all and then make sure you have a, a clean background, preferably white, I don't know, that's what I use and then take a very nice picture with a gentle smile on the face and use in your application. I get a lot of emails and a lot of questions about people asking me about how they can apply. It's just simple. Go through the process. Take your time. Help. If you need assistance, you can just send an email to all these email addresses on the screen. For international students and for Ghanaians, you can just contact the admissions office and they'll be ready to sort you out. So don't fret. Don't worry. Take it a step at a time and you'll be just fine. So guys... Once you're making the application online, you'll be required to select four programs of your choice in order of importance. When you go online, you have the opportunity to make four choices in order of importance. So please make sure you select the program that you really, really want to do on top, followed by the next one, the least favorite in that order. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Know that the University of Ghana application is very transparent. Therefore, do not allow anyone under any circumstance, you know, try to lure you into the pretense of helping you get admission into the University of Ghana. It will not work. So go through the process yourself and pray at the end of the day. Pray to God that his will for your life be done in as much as you want to come to the University of Ghana. Pray to God that his will for your life be done for you. Do not allow anyone to deceive you in the name of helping you get admission into the University of Ghana. It doesn't work like that. Trust me. You have to go through the process and work hard. If you are about to write to Wasi, take the opportunity now. Work very hard. Make sure you pass so well to get you into the program of your choice. I wish you the very best. And if you have any other questions you want to know or want further clarification on, please comment it down below and I'll be more than grateful to help you with it in the very best I can. So me same time, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and then comment down below. Let me know if this video was helpful to you. So me same time, it's bye.